Having a clean and productive workspace is super important when you're working from home. When you make your own hours and you're trying to motivate yourself to get out of bed and start your day, you wanna walk into a room or a space that's clean and that meets your needs and is organized. So in today's video, I'm gonna be walking you through my entire desk setup from my editing must-haves all the way down to my favorite desk accessories. And huge thanks to Logitech for sponsoring today's video. We'll talk a little bit more about them later in the video. Everything that I talk about in today's video will be linked in the blog post in the description box. That's our website. We post links to everything. So if you ever have any questions about our gear, paint colors, things that we use, most everything is on the blog. Let's start off with the hardware. This is like the main workhorse behind my command station. That's what I call this, my command station. So starting from the top, I have two Dell Ultra HD 4K monitors. These are the P2715Q 27 inch displays. And I have these monitors mounted to my desk with the fully pole mounted monitor arm. This is the dual pole monitor arm. Some of you guys were asking why I switched back to the two horizontals. And the only reason why I did that was to free up a little bit of that space below the monitor so I could get some storage down below with that desk shelf, which we'll talk about later. So those monitors are attached to the 2019 Mac Pro. That's my main workhorse computer. I do all my editing, rendering, photo editing, everything is done here. And I use my laptops for doing blog posts, Pinterest. I rarely edit on my laptop unless I'm traveling. So this is the 3.2 gigahertz 16 core 2019 Mac Pro. It has a Radeon Pro Vega 2 graphics card with two terabytes of internal storage. And I have 192 gigs of third party RAM, which I put in there. I just bought the lowest RAM package I could for my Mac Pro. And then I went to OWC, Other World Computing, and I bought 192 gigs of RAM there. It was really important to me to invest in a computer that was going to be able to handle everything that I could throw at it. Chris and I have always been fans of the Mac desktops. So we had the 2013 Mac Pro, which died over the pandemic. My computer has two terabytes of internal storage. However, my main storage is this 84 terabyte Thunder Bay 6 RAID 5 array. And then of course I had that backing up again using Backblaze, it's a cloud-based backup service. So if a drive fails on my RAID 5, hopefully I can rebuild it by inserting a new drive. But if it's, if I have a catastrophic failure, then I have Backblaze as my backups. I really like that service, been using it for years. Okay, so now that we have the workhorse details of the hardware, computer hardware, let's start from my desk shelf and work our way down. So for the desk shelf, you've probably seen us build this in a vlog, which I will link up here. It's really important for me when we were doing this makeover that I had storage underneath the monitor. So if you want the build plans, I will link it up here. And if there's not enough room, it will be linked in the blog post for this video. So on top of the desk shelf, I have the OWC 14 port Thunderbolt 3 dock in space gray. And I use this as my main card reader. So it has an SD slot and a micro SD slot. And I dump my cards through that all the time. It also has a USB-C input. So I use that to dump my CF Express card, which I do not have a reader for. I keep this little felt bowl on top of the desk shelf, just as kind of like a catch all. So if I'm dumping cards, I kind of throw my extra cards in there. And then to the left of that, I usually keep my glasses there. Those glasses are from iBuyDirect, but they're also blue light reflective. They're blue light glasses. So moving down to the second shelf, I have this Shinola calendar, this planner. I really like to write things out. I find that I can wrap my head around my projects better when I'm physically writing them down. Oftentimes I will schedule out my month using the calendar in that planner. And then I use different markers to categorize everything that I'm doing. So I have an easy visual reference when I just glance at the calendar and know if I have a sponsored video coming up. On top of that, I have this Muji clear pencil case. So I keep my highlighters in there. I also like this Pete's Pirate Life pen. It's got a really nice fine tip nib on it. And then I also have this black ruler, which I got on Amazon. I think I'll leave it in the blog post. And I really like to use the ruler to draw nice straight clean lines. I find when my calendar is organized and neat, I just feel like I have a better grasp on what I'm doing and what my priorities are for the month and what I have coming up. I always keep a sketchbook at my desk. I really like to sketch out thumbnails when I'm trying to wrap my head around layouts. I like to write notes down when I'm on a meeting with a brand just so I know exactly what we've talked about on the meeting and then I can quickly reference it and put it into an email afterwards. I don't know how to say it. I've been calling it moleskin my whole life, but I think it's moleskin. Just this kind of soft cover, 
sketchbook. I like to use that. So I have this Anchor wireless pad charger on my desk for my phone. Usually I'll let my phone charge while I'm editing. And I also tend to just slide the whole thing underneath my desk shelf so I can't see my screen. And that keeps me from getting distracted by any notifications or calls or emails that come through and allows me to focus solely on work. Sometimes if I'm having a really difficult time getting away from my phone or I'm really distracted that day, I'll actually set a timer for 30 minutes or an hour. I'll put my phone underneath there and I will work until that timer goes off. And usually by the time that timer goes off, I'm able to get back into the swing of things and I'm into the flow of work. Next to that, I have a black lightning cable. I like to keep that there for my AirPods or if Chris's phone is there and one is using the wireless charger, there's an extra one there to be plugged in. On the sides of my desk shelf, I'm rocking these Arion legacy speakers. I did get a few comments about my speaker placement. I'm not an audiophile, I don't really care. As long as I can hear my music and hear my audio, I double check it on my phone and my TV anyway after I've made a video, so I'm not too concerned about the placement. Moving to the actual physical desktop, you obviously can't do work without a keyboard and mouse, which brings us to our sponsor, Thank you Logitech for sponsoring today's video. They actually sent me their new MX keys for Mac and their new MX Master 3 for Mac mouse. I love the mouse and the way it feels. It's space gray, so it kind of matches the whole setup. It's got the top scroll wheel that you can change the modes by just pressing the button. So you can scroll super, super fast or slower. And then they had this thumb wheel, which is so amazing. So when I was in the timeline in Premiere, I could set it up so I could just quickly flick my thumb and roll across the timeline super quickly. Something else I loved about this mouse was where the charging port is. It's on the front, like it should be. A proper mouse should have a charging port on the front and not on the bottom. Yes, I'm throwing shade. You can actually connect this to three different devices. The keyboard is low profile, but it's really substantial. So it kind of stays in place where you want it. The keys feel phenomenal. I find the sound of the keyboard really satisfying. It's like a little ASMR moment. So that comes in space gray as well. And you can also connect this to three different devices as well as I believe the iPad Pro, which I don't have, so I can't test it. It also has the command keys, so it's made for Mac. And it has backlights, which is so nice. I've never had a keyboard at my desktop that has a backlight, backlit, a backlit keyboard, backlit. You can actually download their app so you can customize the keyboard and the mouse. If you guys are interested in the MX keys for Mac or the MX Master 3 for Mac, I'll leave both of the links in the description box as well as in the blog post. Thank you Logitech for sponsoring today's video. So my new keyboard and mouse are sitting on a Grove made mouse pad and a felt desk pad, which I love. I also like to keep a wood coaster to the left of my keyboard when I'm bringing in a glass of water or a hot cup of coffee or tea. I don't want any drippage to ruin or stain my felt pad, so that kind of protects it. So we haven't actually talked about the desk I'm using yet. This is the fully laminate Jarvis desk in all white, white top, white legs. And I believe this one is the 27 inch deep by 60 inch wide. I've got a power grommet on one side, so that's what I keep my lightning cable and my charge pad plugged into as well as the lamp. And then the other side is just an open hole so I can drop all of those cables from my desk all the way down to my UPS, my Mac Pro down below the desk. This is a standing desk. It goes up and down, which is fantastic. So I'm able to kind of change my position throughout the day, whether I wanna be sitting in this chair that I'm sitting in right now, which is the Felix office chair from Structube. I did go ahead and replace the wheels on the chair with these owl office chair wheels that I bought from Amazon, which made a huge difference. But if I'm not sitting here, I am standing. And when I'm standing, I put the movement anti-fatigue mat on the floor from Foley. It allows me to extend my standing time. And then if I don't wanna be standing, but I don't wanna be sitting in my chair, I use the TikTok stool and that kind of is like a good in between where I can kind of perch on that and edit. So I do find that changing my positions during the day helps me be a less fatigued at the end of the day and helps with a bit of pain, but I also find it keeps me a little bit productive too. If I'm moving, I don't get lazy. I also keep a candle on my desk because I like nice smells. This one is a mahogany scent. Ugh, smells like delicious men in the woods. Anyway, it smells really good. I like to light that every now and then, get a good smell going, which makes you wanna be in here, which is, this is the whole purpose, right? You wanna have a productive space, 
that's clean, organized, smells nice, because you wanna be here. You wanna be productive and you wanna be working. But not all the time, it's important to have a work-life balance. All right, I got a few extras on the go here that kind of helps keep me organized and productive. The first thing is this filing cabinet that's to the right of my desk. On top of my filing cabinet, I have a plant. For me, I love having plants around. They just make me so happy. So this room is a little bit darker, so I have the snake plant that kind of hangs out here and it's doing really well. In the filing cabinet, in the top cabinet, I keep a bunch of extra pens, scissors, post-it notes, push pins, cloths, extra things that I might need. And then in the second drawer, I have a bunch of spare extra notebooks. I'm filling up notebooks all the time. I love notebooks, so it's great to have a good collection of them. And then towards the back, I have my Pantone swatch books. I really try to maintain a really healthy work-life balance where I walk out of this office at 5 p.m. and I do not come in here until the next morning, but sometimes it's just not possible. You have the work in the evening, especially during tax season, or if you have a deadline that's quickly coming around. So that is kind of my desk setup. These are my go-to editing must-haves. The monitors I've had for a while and I love them. Been really happy with my Mac Pro and the new Logitech MX keys for Mac and the MX Master 3 for Mac. These are new additions to the office, but so far I've been loving them so much. Just that, that side scroll wheel and the charge port alone is just like, the best. I talked about my favorite accessories as well. My planner, which keeps me organized, my sketchbook, and then my pens, my highlighters, all key pieces to keeping myself productive and organized so I know what I'm doing, when I'm doing it, especially when I have a foggy brain. And the ability to move my desk up and down keeps my kind of back healthy, keeps me moving throughout the day, and just keeps me going. When my desk is messy and covered in clutter, it just makes me not want to be in here. So clean, organized space, keeps you productive, keeps your brain going, keeps it good. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you guys have any must-haves that keeps you organized throughout the day, things that you love, things that you're using. Leave a comment down below and let me know. Thanks so much for watching and thanks Logitech for sponsoring today's video. We'll catch you guys in the next one. I'm starting to lose my voice. My God. Okay, I gotta change the battery. Jeez, please, lost a battery there. It smells like, like a hot dude wearing a plaid, cutting wood. It smells like a sexy man in the forest. It smells like deliciousness.